This is one in a series of orchid care videos sponsored and presented by Repotme.com Orchid Supplies. Hi, we're here to talk today about how to cut a bloom spike on a Phalaenopsis orchid once it's finished blooming. I've brought three different Phalaenopsis orchids here today to show cutting the bloom spikes in three different instances. The first orchid that we have here is an orchid that has given us a lovely bloom. And it's a fairly mature orchid. We can see it has a number of leaves. And as we look here on the bloom spike, we'll see that not all of the nodes on that bloom spike are green. Some of them, the one here at the bottom and another one at the top, have turned a little bit brown. We have also see that this orchid appears to be a little bit under stress because one of these leaves is a little bit wrinkly. So in this particular case, this orchid is getting ready to grow a new leaf, and so I'm going to choose to cut this orchid's bloom spike off at the base. The second orchid that I've brought here to show you today is another mature Phalaenopsis, a healthy one that we've had for a number of years. And this particular one has done a beautiful bloom, and its the plant has a lot of vigor, and each of the nodes here on the bloom spike are still green and plump. And so in this particular case, I'm going to show an example of cutting the bloom spike right above a node to allow this plant to bloom one more time before setting a new leaf. This particular plant is showing no evidence of having a new leaf at this time. So my read on this particular plant is that it would like to bloom again on this same spike. I have here as my third example an orchid which has already been cut above a node, has bloomed a second time from the subsequent spike, and now it really is time to go ahead and cut this off at the base. Again, it's a mature plant. We've had some good leaf growth. It started a new leaf, and it's time for this plant to focus on leaf growth and not on blooms. So as we get involved here in the mechanics of cutting off the bloom spikes in this or on these orchids, one of the things that we're concerned about is anytime we're dealing with multiple plants, we really don't want any risk of transferring an infection that might be present in one plant to another one. So we want to make sure that the tools that we're working with are very clean. One of the easiest ways to clip off a bloom spike is using a high quality sharp clippers. Because I'm going to use this clipper later on a between multiple plants, what I'm going to do is disinfect it in between plants. If you take a coffee mug, fill it halfway with water, add a little Fison 20 to it at the rate of one tablespoon per gallon, drop the clipper in there to soak, after about 10 minutes that clipper is going to be good to use on another orchid. Another really easy way to cut on an orchid is to use a scalpel. Razor blades are difficult to manipulate and can slip out of your hand. But scalpels have a nice plastic uh, edge here and yet a very high quality and sharp blade. So I'll do examples of using both of these. The other thing that I brought out with me today is I brought out a little bit of cinnamon. And this cinnamon is the same kind of cinnamon that you would have in your kitchen. And it's a uh, we're going to use it after we've cut on the bloom spike to prevent a secondary infection from potentially getting into the wound that we've introduced by cutting the spike. If you do as we're going to do here and cut a bloom spike after it, it has finished blooming, you'll get a secondary spike and that secondary spike will typically have fewer and potentially a little bit smaller blooms. But in the case of a larger, very robust and healthy orchid, it's perfectly fine. What we're going to do is notice this node right here. We're going to go to the second node from the base of the plant. We're simply going to snip it off just a little bit above that node. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my cinnamon here. And again, this is the same cinnamon that you have in your kitchen, except I prefer the wide mouth jar because it's just a little easier to work with. And just go ahead and touch the, the tip here into some of that cinnamon kind of seal off 
that uh, wound and prevent a secondary infection from creeping in there. All right, we're done. We've clipped our Phalaenopsis orchid. Thank you very much. For more information on orchid care and to purchase orchid supplies, please visit us at www.repotme.com. Thank you.